Science community, welcome to another episode of Sampling Samples. Today we're going to be sampling from the house of Profumo Maroma. And this is their fragrance called Antico Caruso. Now the big notes in this particular fragrance, almonds. Oh, I love almonds in a fragrance depending on how they use it. If it's a primary note, love it. Orange Blossom works well with almonds. And Amber, so those are the big notes in this fragrance. My impressions. First thing that comes to mind, Le Mans. This was like, it smelled like Le Mans. Which is weird. I was looking at the note breakdown. I'm like, eh, 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 how does this work? <laughs> um, it was almost the niche version of Le Mans, honestly. It's not exactly the same as Le Mans, of course, since it would make it a very redundant, expensive replacement that would make no sense in the fragrance world at all. But Le Mans is much more sweet, synthetic, vanilla based that can be overpowering to some noses. This has more class, in my opinion. It has a creaminess that Le Mans lacks. Um, it has a sweet almond, soapy skin like feel. And it really does not shout, especially from Profumum Roma, you would expect shouting. <laughs> no, there's no shouting here. Weird. Some uh, may see, see this as a drawback because they want fragrances to just be big punchy, boom, right? Um, I kind of liked it. The almonds and sandalwood really pop in this fragrance and really give me a different take on one of my favorite designer scents of all time. Now, for $240 a bottle, give or take, uh, perhaps this is a little too much to ask, but I like it. And I might just splurge on this one. I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence right now. If you're a Loma Hall fanboy like myself, and you kind of like what it gives you, um, then this is probably just worth a sniff, to be honest. Um, if you're not, probably a pass on this one. Um, it's like buying a burger at a five-star restaurant for 80 bucks. Basically what it is. You know, you can get them for much cheaper, and it might not be as luxurious or as smooth, you know, why do it? Um, so it's one of those fragrances that you're just like, eh, you know, you can just get the designer, it's fine. Um, the staying power on this fragrance was 8 to 10 hours, which is always good. That's a plus, it hits my feet clearly. Perfume Aroma always does that. Uh, projection was a surprise because a lot of these aromas are just beasts. Um, this one's actually just average. Um, the good, the good things about this fragrance, if you like sweet yet creamy scents, uh, barbershop like scent lovers, like Le Mans, it has that barbershop like feel to it. Um, those are the good things on this fragrance. The bad smells like a designer fragrance. It does. It, maybe a tad a little better. My now my final take on this fragrance, another sample, a pass, or is it actually bottle worthy? I gotta go with another sample. I'm just gonna give this one one more chance. I'm gonna be like, uh, see what we get. Um, I, I liked it, but I wasn't super impressed, as you can see. And that goes to my star rating, one being trash bin, five being a slam dunk, actually in your face. Um, this is going to be a three star fragrance, again, just average in the middle, um, really nothing too crazy here. Um, I think it's worth a sniff, but really I don't think this one's purchase worthy to be honest with you guys. So we'll see. Uh, please comment below if you've actually tested this fragrance, you smell it, you owned a bottle, you sold the bottle, you know all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.